Hello and welcome back to my channel Learn with Nikhil. So in this video we have taken another sum on isometric projection where we have been given the front view. So this is the front view and the top view. We have to draw its three dimensional isometric view. So first we will find the total width, height and depth of the figure from point O. On the right side you can see 80 plus 40 that is 120. Height of the figure is 65 plus radius of the semicircle that is 25. So 65 plus 25 will be 90 and then the depth of the figure is 28 plus 34 that is 62 now using these three dimensions we will plot the rectangular box so this is the point O from that point we will draw three angles that is 30 degree 90 degree and 30 degree through that we will draw light lines Now next from point O as you can see on the right side you have 120 millimeter. So here I am marking 120 millimeter. The height of the figure is 90 millimeter. So here 90 millimeter. And the depth of the figure is 28 plus 34 that is 62 millimeter. So here 62 millimeter. Now using these three dimensions we will draw a rectangular box, draw parallel lines using these three reference lines. The advantage of the rectangular box is that our whole figure is encapsulated or enclosed in this rectangular box only. So which is like a border for our diagram. Our diagram will not go outside of this. After drawing this rectangular box now we start with the figure. First we will start with the point O, from the point O on the right side as you can see this you have a dark straight line of 40 plus 80 from the top view and the front view as well so this I have drawn it dark. After that here you have a height of 35 millimeter so from here 35 millimeter above and from here 35 millimeter above I am marking a point. Now through these points we will draw a parallel line or you can directly intersect as the dimension is exact. Now I am drawing this line light. As you can see you have a square and a semicircle gap also. So here I am drawing it dark. You are also drawing it dark. Now the center point of the semicircle is 40 millimeters from the point O. So from here. 40 millimeters I'll mark the point and as the radius of the semicircle given is 20 so the whole distance is 40 so 20 on right and 20 on the left side will mark the point and keeping this space as it is we will draw the dark lines here so the gap where it is we will draw the square and the semicircle. Now for drawing the semicircle and the square so in front we have a square and in back side we have a semicircle so for drawing that the depth I am drawing two light lines here and also the height of that will be 20 millimeters that is the radius of the semicircle so this distance will be 20 millimeters first I am drawing light lines now as you can see this height is 20 millimeters so from here I am drawing a 20 millimeter dark line and taking this as the reference parallel line I will draw a line from here intersecting this here also a dark line and joining this so this is the square in front now there will be internal edges also Taking this as the reference line from here there will be internal edge drawing it light. Now the first thickness is 20 so the square thickness is 20 from the top view. So this will be 20 and after that we have a semicircle. So first I will make this part dark. We can complete with the square part and then we can move with the semicircle part. So drawing these edges, so 
So this will look like a semicircle in front. Here we have a semicircle. Now the same process for drawing the semicircle. As the semicircle is this vertical side, so from the center, 20 above and 20 below. As you know the procedure for drawing the semicircle, we have to create a square with side as the diameter. If the radius is 20, then the diameter is 40. So we will create a square with side of 40. So see how I am creating it. So from here, parallel line. So this is the square I have created with side 40 millimeter. Now as you can see, the curve part is this much only will be visible. So you can do the whole process. You can join the diagonal lines. Then from the shorter diagonal, we'll join the center points as we do for drawing the curve. But here only we require one point, one single point will be visible. So this is how the curve will be. You can do the entire process for drawing the circle, but it is fine for this. So this is the curve only visible. Now again, the depth of the curve will be 20 millimeters. Now the curve internal depth we have also have to draw. Internal depth will again be 20 millimeters. So we are moving this point behind 20 millimeters. So I have placed this point behind 20 millimeters with same curve on the compass with same radius. I am drawing this curve. So this is how I have shifted the curve 20 millimeters behind as the depth of the curve or the semicircle is 20 millimeters. It is given in the top view. So drawing this dark, drawing here also dark. Now next, we'll just complete this part, extending it behind as the thickness is 20 millimeter. Complete this part, draw this part dark. So this is how the semicircle will be. So this is the cut part where we have a square and a semicircle behind. This part will also be dark. You can see it from the top view. And joining this. So this is the part we are done. So this is the semicircle thickness 20 and the square in front. Now moving towards this part, the height is 35 millimeter. We have already drawn. Now from the top view, you can see there is a semicircle but it is behind 28 millimeter. So this distance is there. It is behind 28 millimeter. So taking this as the reference line, I'll draw a light line from this point behind. Then I'll make it dark. The distance will be 28 millimeter. Now from here you can see it is above and then we have a semicircle. Now this part is bit you have to be careful. You can increase this height to the top as it will be the semicircle and the height distance. Now from top to draw the semicircle, the radius given is 25. So we have to draw a square with side of 50. So from top I have marked the center point and below also I have marked 50. And using those points, I'll draw a square. So from here, 50 on the left side. This is the bottom edge. This is not the side of the square. This is just the bottom edge. So first see this part, then draw it. As I said, this is not the square as the side should be 50. So from top 50 below, I have marked the point. So taking this as a reference line, I'll draw a line from here. So this is the square through which we will draw the semicircle. Now drawing that, join the longest diagonal. Then from the shorter diagonals, you can join the other center points, midpoint. So for semicircle, we require just two points. I'll join this. And we can just mark the center points. 
so here we'll have one curve here i'll just mark the center so this is the center now taking this as the radius we will draw the curve now taking this as the radius we'll draw the curve over here so this is the semicircle we have drawn joining this part dark as it is totally below till this edge drawing this part dark and this edge will also be dark if you have some any other dimensions in the figure you can do it accordingly no issues the dimensions can be changed and can be drawn the method will remain the same now again this curve part we have to make it behind also from the top you can see the thickness is 34 so i am moving this points 34 behind 34 mm behind and we will draw the curve now from here we have drawn this curve i'll just move this part behind 34 mm so from here i'll draw the curve so this is the curve it will end its start point and end point will be same if i extend this line this will be the end point of the curve now for this curve also so this is the end point of the curve this is the point from where we will draw the curve so moving this point again 34 mm behind so this is the new point now taking this as the radius which we have drawn the curve earlier keeping it here draw the curve but draw it lightly as here you can see we have a slant line so from point here we have to draw the slant line so taking a tangent to this curve so draw this line dark so from here till here you can join the it dark we are totally done thank so you for the watching do subscribe curve which to is my below channel. will not any doubts, be dark any queries, so that's why i have showed that the curve draw it light the thickness of this slant line is 10 mm if it is 12 or any other dimension you can do it accordingly same extend it till there now again we have to draw a curve as we have drawn this curve from this point same we have to move this point behind 10 mm as here also there will be uh, the slant line will be on the curve so there will be a curve shape so to draw that i show you how to draw move this point behind 10 mm and then you can draw the curve see how i am drawing it first i am drawing it lightly then intersect it so here it intersects now you can draw it dark and you can draw it till below so from this point you can draw the curve till it intersects the bottom line till this line so this is how the curve will be visible you can just remove this part if you are getting confused so this is how it will look from here take it downward from here join it dark and you can join this dark also so this is how the part is done now the remaining part is there that is the circle in the bottom side make this part dark so the final part that is you have to draw the circle here the circle diameter given is 20 so first we will mark the center point so the center point i am drawing a line marking the center point so this distance is 50 mm so center point 25 mm now as the diameter is 20 so from the center 10 mm on the right left and from the center 10 mm above and below and then we will draw a square with side of 20 mm so see how i am drawing the square drawing parallel lines and then joining the longest diagonal and from the shorter ends we will join at the other sides of the midpoints so just don't get confused mark the four points 
and through those four points we will draw the curve so keeping the center point draw the curve take this uh, center point radius draw the curve keep the pointer here and draw the curve so this is how the circle is drawn and we are completely done with the sum now marking the front view take this as a reference line this is the front view and we are done with the sum now marking the dimensions all the dimensions which are given in the question you can mark it over here mark them properly as i have shown dimension marking is important as it considers marks and we are done thank you for watching do subscribe to my channel if you have any doubts any queries let me know in the comment section you can also connect with me on instagram